Hi there. In this video, we will extend our analysis of market equilibrium analysis. And for that, we will con consider the shifts in the demand and the supply curves. So let's start with the experiment of shifting the demand curve primarily. And before that, we have to consider the original demand and supply functions. So here we are, a numerical instance, the demand function and the supply function they are given. The equality of the two will give us the equilibrium. So this is the conditional equation of equilibrium, whereas these are the two behavioral equations of demand and supply. So once we put the values of uh, demand function and the supply function, we will get this expression, which will finally give us the equilibrium price, which is 30. And using that, we can find out the equilibrium output, which can be found either by substituting the value in demand function or the supply function. And the value is of equilibrium price. So here we have used the demand function and here the substitution is done. So this is the equilibrium output, which is 70 in this case. So we have found the equilibrium price and the equilibrium output. So these are the initial equilibrium values. But we have considered the possibility of the shifts in the demand and shifts happen when there is an exogenous factor and we here we are considering that perhaps increased income has caused this extension in the demand function and that is reflected with the shift of the demand curve to the right hand side we can see that in diagram as you can see it has been shifted outward or to the right hand side mathematically speaking it should differ and here we can see the demand function now has been changed. Previously, it was 100 minus P, but now it is 110 minus P. So the intercept has changed, 100 has become 110. And it is evident because initially it was 100, but now it has become 110. So again, the same procedure of equalizing the demand and the supply functions is done and these are the substituted values this is the equilibrium price and this is the equilibrium output we, you can pause the video and do the simple algebra and you will get these results we can uh, visualize these results in this diagram um, this was the initial equilibrium with no shifts in the demand curve the equilibrium price was 30 and the equilibrium output was 70 but after the shift in the demand, which is a favorable shift, converting the intercept from 100 to 110, we have a new equilibrium at this point. And the price has gone up as the demand has gone up. So market equilibrium output is also extended from 70 to 76.67. So it is quite intuitive that if the demand increases of a certain good, it is going to boost the price and also the equilibrium output will be greater than before. So we can also consider the other case, which is the case of the shift in the supply curve. Uh, this is quite similar to what we have already done. So the original demand and supply curves, they are mentioned here. The equilibrium is found one more time just for the reminder. But our main focus is some exogenous factor that would increase the supply. Here the improved technology can be that reason where the technology upgradation can increase the supply and definitely it will shift the demand curve to the outside or right hand side. Here we are representing the supply curve with a tilt on it and this is now the new supply curve. We can compare it with the previous or the original supply curve. It was 10 plus 2p, but now it is 16 plus uh, 2p, which means that it is um, having a greater in intercept this time. We are going to equate this 
new supply curve with the old demand curve or the original demand curve which has not changed so the substitution will give us this and simplification will give us the new equilibrium price and further substitution into the supply curve for example of this equilibrium price will give us the equilibrium output now we can uh, plot these uh, two points on the demand supply functions in order to understand the change here you can see that this is the original demand curve which will remain the same this is the original supply curve which is here and below it or to the right hand side of it or to the outside of it there is the new supply curve which is due to the improved technology so the supply has been extended and its intercept has now become uh, 16 instead of 10 and the previous equilibrium was definitely 30 and 70 but now it is 28 and 72 the price has fallen because of the improved technology when the technology improves the supply is likely to extend because of the greater ability to produce and definitely when there is access of that certain good in the market the price will fall as well as the output will be extended or increased and here the output is now 72 instead of 70 so q status and p status have changed according to the intuitive expectation of ours this is the solution here we can also do a further kind of experiment that is by shrinking the supply curve we can make a new supply curve which is to the left of this supply curve because of some unfavorable change in the production process so this can also happen and this can give us another uh, interesting result you can do this for your rehearsal we can also do another experiment with the demand curve that is instead of uh, extending the demand curve outside we can shrink it into the inside or the left hand side and there will be another curve here and that can give us different results of the equilibrium showing us the effects of some decreased income effect or some exogenous effect which is uh, discouraging or unfavorable due to which the demand curve has shrunk to the left side so this uh, is the process of uh, doing experimentation with the demand and supply curve in the form of shifts to the favorable dimension where you can do the experimentation where the um, unfavorable changes where the shifts will bring the demand supply curve inside so you can do quite a bit of experimentation here to learn about different interesting cases thank you